Today marks one year since the death of Zach Monday. The 15 year old Gibbs High School student died after he was slammed to the ground at a party. Three of his classmates later pleaded guilty in his death. Tonight, reporter Gabrielle Hayes has more on Zach's life and the tributes about his love of travel. One year ago today, Zach Monday lost his life. So today is when Zach Monday was officially pronounced brain dead. Not long after his death, his family and friends would bring in his 16th birthday, something he looked forward to so, so much. So he was always excited to drive, even when he wasn't allowed to. They honored him by writing words of love on balloons and shared what his loss meant to them. You can't hug him, you can't you know, tell him happy birthday or... But a year later, his light still radiates in the people he loved the most. His smile and how funny he was and how goofy he always was, and I think that's something that I'm always probably going to remember. His memory led his family to launch Zach Around the World in honor of a 15-year-old's dream to travel. He was like a free spirit, so he wanted to go, go places and meet new people. 365 days later, the memory of the Gibbs High School student lives on in pictures and in ink in four letters and in the hearts of every single person who knew him. I like having the tattoo because a lot of people, you know, ask you like what, what it means to you and what it represents. And though he's no longer here, they found a way to once again bring the light to him. I want people to feel like their message is like getting to him, you know, like obviously I know that the lantern can't go that far. Gabrielle Hayes, hashtag LLZN, long live Zach Monday to news. Zach Monday would have turned 17 on June 23rd.